Let's see if there's anything that we can do here. This is going to be first and 10. We're going to try to get the ball out deep. There you go. JSN gets the... He gets the catch, and that's a touchdown. Welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video with the Seattle Seahawks. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. And today we're going to go ahead and face the Washington Commanders. This is going to be a good game. We're kind of evenly matched. We have the better defense, a slightly better offense. I really do think that this is going to be a two and a half point spread with us as favorites. We have a couple of things in store for us. We got Uchenna Nwosu, who can potentially be a breakout player. If we can go ahead and get him at least two sacks or a forced fumble or a combination combination top threat for the commanders is jonathan ellen and by the way if you guys missed last week we took a really bad beating by the ravens we simply could not stop the run hence the title this next stretch is going to be a little difficult for us for those who are new to the channel we're actually playing all madden on away games and we're playing all pro on home games so we got a home game against the commanders pretty winnable game if you ask me we got an away game against the rams which can potentially be a winnable game as well home game against the 49ers that's going to be a tough game away game with the cowboys niners and home at eagles and so on and so forth so our playoff chances are not looking very hopeful before we take a deep dive let's look at the injury report so if you guys have not been keeping up we are pretty beat up on offense specifically with dk metcalf out that's a huge loss for us We've got both of our tackles who are out, our right and left tackle, Abe Lucas and Charles Cross, respectively. Offensively, we got three of our starters out on offense, and that's just uh, not the greatest thing that's going for us. And part of the reason as to why we haven't been able to keep up in this playoff race, if you look at the commanders, their biggest hit is going to be Martin, the strong safety, who is out for three more weeks with the foot fracture. And I didn't even see if he's on the injury reserve. The commanders do have Sam Howell. He has 1,800 pass yards, nine pass touchdowns with six interceptions and completing 63% of his completions, which is pretty good if you ask me. They do have Brian Robinson Jr. with 491 yards, under four yards of carry. Their offensive side of the ball is not too scary if you ask me. Terry McLaurin is right behind them. He's actually going to be the X factor of their team and probably going to get a pretty good amount of targets. The reason he does not have a whole lot of receptions is simply because he's getting double team all the time. And that is why, number one, uh, Dotson is open frequently i mean it's kind of crazy that he has more receiving yards than terry mclaren here time has come for our weekly strategy what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and split everybody of linebackers we want to do the backups because bobby wagner's fatigue is a real thing and what we really want to do we want to try to limit the short pass if we can limit the short pass we should be able to give howell a hard time with uh, deeper passes especially considering that we're going to be home and what we're going to go ahead and do i'm going to go ahead and just pass the ball short if we can do that get the pressure off geno smith keep him clean we're going to be perfectly fine if we look at the nfc east the commanders are actually in last place not a whole lot that they are playing for they're kind of in the same boat as us we still got a chance at the playoffs at least i think if we can hit a, a good home stretch and a good good winning streak nevertheless the time has come for us to review the X factors that they have. They got Terry McLaurin, who is a stud. We're gonna wanna try to keep our number one corner, who is Tariq Woolen, up against Terry McLaurin and maybe double team him with Quandre Diggs a little bit. Jonathan Ellen, another X factor, gonna be really good for them. The NFL, and we'll be watching Terry McLaurin. He's coming off a week where he hung 122 yards on the defense. It's the Commanders and the Seahawks, and it comes your way next. Well, no trip to the Northwest would be complete without a little rain, and we've got a lot of rain falling right now at Lumen Field in downtown Seattle. Today, we hit double digits week 10, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Seahawks team as they get ready here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, our tendencies do say that we run the ball a lot on first down. We're going to go ahead and try to switch it up a little bit, throw the ball for the first play of the game, see who we can get open. Tyler Lockett is open, and he gets in for a good cane. 
at the numbers for Lockett from a week ago. Four catches, 55 yards. That injury to our offensive line is going to be kind of big. See, we got somebody who broke free on the line. And we get the ball to Will Disley. Pretty decent gain, if you ask me. And they got an injury, the commanders. Throwing now is Gino. Oh, Tyler Lockett. That was a pretty nice double move. Take a look at that one more time. Pretty good double move by Tyler Lockett. I don't know who he was on, but look at that. And that was a nice throw, a well-timed throw, and a big game. We're going to try to target JSN and Tyler Lockett as much as we can today. See if there's anything that we can do, and we throw a pick to start things off. Not the cleanest throw that we had. Threw it straight to Javis, too. Take a look at Damon Davis here. He sits on the ball, it reads this perfectly, and stretches for that interception. Let's see what we can do and shake Sam Howell out of rhythm. We're going to target the flats here. McLaren is out on the left, and they break down for a pretty decent run. A gain of 12 for Brian Robinson. We got Tyreek McLaren now on the slot. We're going to go ahead and highlight him. Got to watch the run. See if we can go ahead and play action. They fall for it. And a pretty good pass and caught by Samuel. See if we can go ahead and hit a cover two under. We got McLaurin now on the left-hand side. Samuel is also a threat on the left. Um, they get a pretty good pass. So far, they've been torching us with the pass, and we got Devin Weatherspoon on Tari McLaren. That's a little bit of a mismatch, if you ask us. And look at that. A height mismatch. And Devin Weatherspoon gets beat for the touchdown on number 17. A pretty good touchdown and a pretty good grab, if you ask me. It just strips the ball away from Devin Weatherspoon. Another play action, and we're falling for that pretty hard. If you look at that... Shorter cornerback versus a taller wide receiver. We're gonna lose every time We're gonna make some adjustments after this drive number two for our Seattle Seahawks Let's see what we can go ahead and do. We got Tyler Lockett wide open on the out route And he gets in for the first down. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a play action out to JSN He's gonna run an out route and we got nothing, but we got Ken Walker Not a bad not a good throw by Geno Smith and Walker stretches out for the for the gain Okay, we adjusted our cornerbacks. So Wool is going to be shadowing Terry McLaurin the rest of the game. That's a play action. We fall for that slightly. And Howell is going to rush gain of nine. We're going to get them underneath here. And we're going to go ahead and press Terry McLaurin. See if we can do anything. And a good block for Robinson who picks up the first down. We're going to get a run here. And a pretty big block by the commander's offensive line. Robinson pick up a seven. Not only are they leveraging the play action pass, but Robinson's establishing a pretty good rhythm and a false start. Let's see if we can go ahead and put some pressure on Sam Howell here. We got Tyree Quillen on number 17, and we're going to go ahead and blitz here. And a good breakup by Quandre Diggs. Saves the pass and breaks it up just in time. We're going to continue to focus our game on Tyler Lockett and JSN. See if we can go ahead and leverage the short game. We do JSN. And Gino overthrows it. He has not been accurate on this game. Let's see if we can go ahead and pick up the third down here. Third and long for us. Not the best spot in the world. And Gino Smith just overshoots Will Disley again. We're going to go ahead and continue to pressure Sam Howell here. This is rundown. They might run the ball, but we got some pressure going. And we hit the quarterback. Oh, McLaurin breaks the tackle. Okay, here we go. Play action pass. Get that. Oh, Woolen was right there. If he shot that aggressively, we might have gotten it. But a pretty good game by Dotson. Defense is reeling just a little bit. Okay, here we go. 
This is going to be a run. And Robinson gets in for the touchdown. we got to get this offense going. They have not gotten anything going since that first drive. We've been really inconsistent. And that's a loss for Ken Walker. Second and 11. Let's see what we can go ahead and do here. We're going to get Ken Walker open. We cut it in. And a pretty good gain. Pretty manageable third down now. See if we can go ahead and get Ken Walker. We do have number 33 who is Jonathan Allen who can stop the run and we get the first down that was a little bit nerve-wracking for me but we went ahead and picked up that first down a big first down for us see if we can continue to leverage the short game here we got a we got Y right here probably a holding call for us and that's not what we need right now a pretty decent game by Walker who's gonna get offset by the penalty Sadly, I don't think we're going to get anything here, but we're going to try it anyways. This is going to be a vertical play. Let's see what we got. Jake Bobo made a big play not too long ago. JSN drops the ball. Had an opportunity to come big with that one. Maybe would have gone in for the touchdown. Want to continue to leverage this. See if we can continue to stack the box. Okay, so what we got here. Howell goes in. And he rushes for a pretty good gain. Gain of eight. We're going to predict a pass here. A little bit risky considering how much they've been running the ball. And they do, but we get the stop. Big stop by the defense. See if we can go ahead and do anything here. Get the short game going. Probably not going to be able to do much. We got Noah Fant. He makes the completion. Gain of five. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. First quarter comes to an end, and the Washington Commanders have been in control of this game thus far. Second and five for us. Let's see what we can go ahead and do. Get the ball over to Will Disley off of play action. So far, what we got here? We got Y here, who is Noah Fant. Makes a good catch. And a big completion for us. We needed that. Second and ten for us. Not a strong showing thus far. And we get JSN wide open. And he gets in for the first down. Let's see if we can get something going here. So far, the momentum has been on our side. We're going to get the ball over to Will Disley. And wide open. Breaks the tackle, but is stopped right away. And a big injury for the commanders, who is Jonathan Allen. It's going to impact the run game. And we'll get a status on him. Here comes second and ten. Get the ball over to Ken Walker. And gets a pretty good gain. Gain of seven. Third and three. Jonathan Allen is not on the field. Still dealing with his injury. And Zach Charbonnet open for a pretty good gain of eight. It looks like he was going to go in for the touchdown. A heavy package here by the Washington Commanders. See what we got here. Will Disley. And Tyler Lockett gets in for the touchdown. He's had a pretty big game today. Pretty good game thus far. And he gets open for the touchdown. Geno Smith pressured. And still manages to get the pass in. Second and ten. This is another rundown. We're going to put a little bit of pressure on on Sam Howell. We'll see what we can go ahead and do. This is definitely a run. But we stuffed the run again. This is just a gain of two. This is obviously going to be a pass down. See if we can get a little bit of pressure over on Sam Howell. We're going to spread the defense. And this is going to be a screen pass. And a gain of two. Good stop by the defense. Here comes Geno Smith. An incomplete pass on first down. Gets a play action. And we got Tyler Lockett. Or this is JSN. My apologies. Wide open for a gain of 11. We're playing their own game up against them. Play action after play action. And this time we're going to run the ball. Get a good block. But Ken Walker running really hard for a gain of four. Second and six. Zach Charbonnet out on the backfield with JSN out on the slot. And a pretty big block for Zach Charbonnet. This is going to be a pretty good game. And another first down. Let's see if there's anything that we can do here. This is going to be first and ten. We're going to try to get the ball out deep. There you go. JSN gets the... He gets the catch and that's a touchdown. What a catch by JSN. He was one-on-one. -on -one. 
Geno Smith pumps fake down the middle and he manages to get on a one on one basis and makes a big grab and goes in for the touchdown. Momentum is starting to shift to the right direction, if you ask me. Oh, and look at this. It's the one handed grab, and it's in for the first down. Just inches away from a first down. This is probably going to be a run. They get the run. Robinson gets a pretty good block and a good shoot by him. And Seattle's Devin Bush is hurt on the play. Yeah, we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. What a game by these two teams. We're going back and forth against the Commanders. And there's a blitz and a quick pass, a quick throw. And that's McLaurin for the third catch, I believe, of the game. And McLaurin just having a pretty good game thus far. And this is going to be a run by Robinson. And that Seattle Seahawk defense stuff him. Here we go. This is going to be play action. Get us a little bit. Oh, and this is going to be Woolen. Almost gets the pick, but drops the ball. Third and 13, third and long. And let's see what we got here. We're going to go ahead and blitz. There's going to be a pass. Got the tight end. They bring the tight end inside, and Sam Howell completely misses his target. This is a potential miss here. See what we can do. And that field goal is in. Let's see what we got here. We got Zach Charbonnet on the back. And we get some pretty good blocks. Zach Charbonnet goes in. And that's a gain of 14 for him. Pretty good gain. We got Ken Walker on the slot. Going to go ahead and run a inside route here. See what we got. And Geno Smith just gets tackled for a loss and a sack. We're going to have to punt this ball away. And so far, our offense has been struggling. A little bit of inconsistent drives here and there. And we're going to leave it to our defense. An injury update for you all. Brian Robinson is out. He's questionable to return. And so is Jonathan Allen. Antonio Gibson with a pretty good gain. Gain of 10 yards. We're going to go hard flat on the right-hand side. Let's see what we got here. And he wide open down the middle. A big gain by the Washington Commanders. We do want to watch a concept on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and stay underneath these receivers. See if we can do anything here. This is going to be a screen pass and a good stop by a Devin Witherspoon. We're going to stay underneath these receivers and see if we can go ahead and make another stop here. It's very imperative that we allow nothing more than a field goal here. And another screen. This time, Devin Witherspoon makes the stop once again. We're going to go man coverage here. This is going to be a big down. Let's see if we can get a stop here. Who else? That's again Curtis Samuel in for the touchdown. Touchdown Washington. Curtis Samuel as the first half is winding down. And the commanders. He just beats number 21, Devin Witherspoon, who had made some back to back big plays. But just gets beat. So we reach here. That's going to be the end of the first half. And so far, the commanders have been in control of this game. 29 pass plays for each team. And the yard is just going to the Washington Commanders. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll start by heading out west. State Farm Stadium in Glendale. And that one getting close to halftime with the Falcons out in front. Desmond Ritter has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, let's head to AT&T Stadium as we check out the Cowboys at home in Dallas. And in that one, it's the visiting Giants who have the lead. Jalen Hyatt, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get out to Jacksonville. See what's happening with the Jaguars at TIAA Bank Field. And it was the visiting San Francisco 49ers that come in and get the victory. Brock Purdy leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. It was a solid first half of football for the Alabama man, Brian Robinson. 
He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. The Commanders get the ball to start the second half. There's going to be a run by Antonio Gibson, who gets nothing. Jahan Dotson, who's had a pretty good game, is out with an injury. Check on him. We're going to continue to put some pressure on Sam Howell. See what we can do here. Antonio Gibson on the back. This is going to be a jet sweep, but they have no space. A good stop by that defense, and Quandre Diggs making the stop. We'll cover 6 show 2 here. See what we can go ahead and do. Got to watch out and move Jordan Love here. See what we got. This is going to be an out route. And another big gain by Terry McLaurin, who's had a pretty good game thus far. We're going to go ahead and press the opposition. There's going to be a run. And a big tackle breaks it. And that's a game. That's a loss of two. Antonio Gibson. So far, this, this commander's team has been pretty efficient to play action. And Howell gets sacked. Who else? Boye Mafe. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a conversion here. Right off the bat, we need a big play. And this is just game to three. We're stacking the box. We're showing some pressure here. Let's see what we can go ahead and do. And Antonio Gibson tackled for loss. Jamal Adams making the stop there. We're going to show Blitz bluff it a little bit. We've been pressuring him all game long. And we get the sack. Which in Nwosu gets in for his first sack of the day. We're going to go play action here. This is going to be a blitz. And Zach Charbonnet get the mismatch. And we just get that ball out a little bit late. But a good gain of five nonetheless. This has been a defensive battle for the start of the second half. And we get Tyler Lockett who gets the grab. But he gets stopped. Fourth and inches. Here we go. This is fourth and inches. We're going to try to get the quarterback sneak with Geno Smith. See if we can go ahead and get it. And we do get the first down, just barely. Third and down. Let's go ahead and see if we can do anything. We got Jake Bobo coming in on the drag. And we got Tyler Lockett, who Geno Smith just overshoots that. He just has not been in rhythm this game. There's going to be another punt for us. And so far, we're running out of time. Goes out, and this is going to be at the one. Pretty dang good field position for us. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a stop, maybe a safety. We've had one before. And they get out of the goal line. This is a gain of eight. Here we go. This is going to be a blitz for us. This is a run. Antonio Gibson rips a big one. And there's a lineman out for the commanders. Here we go, first and 10 after a big conversion. And Antonio Gibson, after a pretty big game, gets stuffed for a negative four. We're gonna show Tampa, show a little bit of pressure and fake it. This ain't gonna be no pressure here. We're just gonna show Tampa. Oh, we could have gotten it. Leonard Williams gets the sack. And that's actually a gain of one. But a pretty clutch play by Williams. Okay, here we go. Oh, he got that to Terry McLaurin. I had a chance to pick it. And that was just under that ball. This is another opportunity for us to get off the field. This is going to be a run. Antonio Gibson gets stuffed. Gain a two. But just short of the first down. Oh, man. So far, this has been a defensive second half. And so far, I think the under is going to hit. And I think I forgot to mention that it's going to be 48 and a half. See if we can get anything going for us offensively. We got Jake Bobo, who's open. And that's a pretty good gain of seven. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Defensive quarter, no score, 24 and 14. For this commander's team to have a really bad rush defense, they've been stuffing our, our run pretty efficient. Okay, see if we can get anything, get it to Will Disley, see if we can make a play. And just short of the first. And Evan Brown, another lineman for us, is out. See if we can get the ball inside and run it inside. We really need to convert here and keep this game close because this game's going to get out of hand. And there's another fourth and inches. Let's see if we can get a fourth conversion here, fourth down conversion. We've converted once already. Jonathan Allen makes the stop and sheds the block. What a play by Jonathan Allen. 
Let's see if we can continue to leverage our defense to make some more stops and give us a little bit more opportunities. And here comes Brian Robinson coming back from his injury. Dime defense. Let's see if we can go ahead and do anything here. Yeah, let's see. Get that. St oh, they couldn't stop it. It's commander's defense. This commander's offense is rolling now. Opportunity to score once again. Bobby Wagner gets the shed and the loss of two for Brian Robinson. Okay, here we go. We need to make a stop here. This is probably going to be a run. We're going to run it. We're going to pinch the defense inside. Get some pressure going and we get the stop. We really need to try to get another stop here. Fourth and inches. Now it's their turn to go for it. Come on, get a stop. Get a stop, Williams. Oh, we couldn't do anything as far as that goes. And that's a big conversion for the commanders. We're going to continue to leverage our dime defense here. Terry McLaurin's just been tearing it up. Robinson, big gain, a gain of nine. Come on, defense. Defense is getting tired. You can tell. They're starting to convert a little bit more often. Let's see if we can get a stop here. And that's wide open. Jamison Crowder for in the touchdown. His first touchdown on the year. And the that might have sealed it. It was just wide open. We took a shot on the run. That was a statement drive by the commanders. And silence is the crowd. This game might be out of reach. See if we can get the ball here. And this is a pick. Dito Smith has not had a really good game throwing the ball today and just throws a pick. For you over betters, or for those who that for those of you who predicted the over, it looks like it's gonna happen. They're gonna get the This is a play action. And they get a sack. That's Boy Mafe with his second sack of the game. Defense has been on the field for quite some time, and we can't expect to win a whole lot of games if the defense is on the field for the majority of the time. They made some pretty good plays. Just kind of do anything. The score is at 48, and we had this at 48 and a half. See what the score, the final score is. Nwosu makes a stop. Tackle for loss. Let's see if we can get something going during garbage time. Probably not. JSN, he's open. Honestly, not a whole lot that we can do. Draw play for us. And that's Zach Charbonnet, who's had himself a pretty good game. A better game than Ken Walker. Nothing but garbage time here. See if we can go ahead and get anything going. That's Ken Walker. He's open. That's a gain of eight. Third and two once again. Third and two. Let's see if we can go ahead and get anything going. We got Jake Bobo. Let's see. Oh, Jake Bobo makes a good play and goes out of bounds. He made a big play last week, I believe it was. If not the week before that. We're in the red zone. See if we can go ahead and do anything. And we got Will Disley makes the touchdown grab. Now it's garbage time, so this doesn't matter. But he also made a big play not too long ago. That was against the Cardinals. Just bullies number 22. Just too tall. I will admit, we made some pretty good adjustments against the run. And I don't know if his injury is what set him back and slowed down his rhythm. But this is probably going to be another run. With some time running out. His way back to where he started from, and that's all. As we will make our way to the two minute warning, we're down by 13. We're gonna go ahead and try to score a touchdown here, but hey, let's see what we can go ahead and do. We got why was not open. We got JSN who made the grab. That was a pretty good grab and a clutch grab by JSN. Okay, we're gonna try to get him open on the shock option on one on one. See if we can get the one on one coverage here. Um, we got Y open right here. It was Ken Walker. I'm going to call a timeout. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and do anything here. We got Tyler Lockett on one-on-one, -on -one, and we also got JSN, and this is an interception. I pre-read that, and this is going to be a pick six. And that's just insult to injury, because I feel like <laughs> before the last couple of weeks, we just threw pick six after pick six. We just spoiled our return. I mean... Geno Smith is obviously not the answer for quarterback. And he's going to be one that we're not going to move forward with after the season ends. They got a fumble. 
What an insult. I think that was Nwosa, too. Oh, look at Eskridge. I was not expecting this. I was totally joking about the kick return, by the way. I don't know this is garbage time. You guys are probably laughing, but <laughs> where was this earlier? Man. Where was this all game? Or get through contact this is going to be game. It's a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Honestly, I am very disappointed in that showcase there. I think we overlooked the. I, I think we overlooked the commanders. Now we did get a dev trait upgrade for Nuosu, which is well deserved. But man, we just got embarrassed by the commanders. And let me tell you, this is all pro. This is all pro difficulty. We just got embarrassed. And then to make matters worse, we fell to three and six and we got the Rams away at SoFi Stadium next week. And that's just going to be that's going to be difficult for us. If we look at the box score here, we our defense kept us in the game on the third quarter. Zero zero. Just no team could get anything going. And then we just got a couple of touchdowns on garbage time. And Geno Smith threw the interception on the fourth, which honestly I was not very happy about. He has not thrown the ball well this entire game. Missed some wide open receivers, overshot a couple of plays, and man, it was just very frustrating. Offensive yards game, the commanders almost got 400 yards total. They got 134 rush yards. And we got the majority of the pass yards. They got more first down than us, but they also converted more on third down than us. They converted nine times. We only converted four times. We attempted two fourth down conversions, only got through to one. We should have really sneaked it there. And look at this time of possession. Defense was on the field for 34 whole minutes while the offense was just on the field for 25 minutes. That's just, we can't, we cannot have that happen. We're not going to win a lot of games with that. And we got three passing touchdowns, but we got three passing interceptions. And those passing interceptions were not acceptable. Sam Howell had himself a game, 3-0, and and 65% of his passes completed. Ryan Robinson was consistent all game. I mean, his average yards per carry weren't the greatest, but he just kept pounding the football with him. And 25 carries plus 12, which is 37. Our defense is just going to be really tired. They stopped Ken Walker. Ken Walker only averaged one and a half yards a carry. Couldn't get anything going. And that just has to do with our offensive line that is very beat up. And that's not fault. That's not any fault of Ken Walker's. Our offensive line is just decimated. JSN had himself a pretty good game. Five receptions for 90 yards and one touchdown. Terry McLaurin, a pretty monster game as well with seven receptions, 117 total yards and a touchdown himself. Defensively, we didn't get any interceptions. Derek Forrest and Jamian Davis both got an interception as well as the third string corner or the nickel corner. Sack-wise, Boy Amafe had himself a game. Uchenna Wosu had himself a pretty decent game. He got a strip sack there and then two tackles for losses. Bobby Wagner got five of them with 17 tackles. I mean, he led this defense. Jamian Davis also led that defense and Jamal Adams had himself a pretty good game as well with one TFL, 10 tackles. He was all over the place and Cody Barnes and was pretty efficient as well we do have the rams and this is going to be a game that i am not looking forward to because we saw what happened with our first outing against the rams we just got embarrassed after the first half and i'm hoping that's not a showcase of the same thing because i mean if you look at this here we got aaron donald and with aaron donald and this rams pass rush with our decimated o-line we're not gonna have fun make sure you smack that like button it's gonna be battle for second place and let's see if we can beat the Rams. But smack that like button. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. And I'll see you guys next time against the Rams. It was desolate, but I had premonition. I was training for war every exhibition, every extra mission, every enemy listening.